guys, so this vlog is, again, a little bit different to the others. It's all about boobs. If you do enjoy this video, then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Charlie's Angels and don't forget to turn that notification bell on too so that you know when I'm uploading. I now upload weekly. So I don't want this vlog to be too serious, I want it to be fun, but in all seriousness I've always struggled with my boobs. Yeah, my boobs. So I have big boobs. I've struggled in the past, basically when I was 12 I started getting big boobs, really young age, not a lot of girls get that at that age, and I used to get bullied in school. I've also been body shamed over and over and over and over again when I'm streaming as well. So I'm trying to be more body positive towards myself this year. I think this vlog will help others to understand what it's like to have big boobs and maybe be a bit more understanding. You can say that twice in a sentence, right? Which in turn will help me and probably plenty of other women in the world. So these babies are now G's. Yeah, G cup size which isn't even cute anymore. And yes, I realise it's fucking greedy. I mean, why couldn't they've just been shared out? That would have felt better. Let's get into it. Number one, working out. Working out is a super big problem for me. I've been trying to do it way more often just to be healthy. But the thing is, I do it at home and there's one reason. Chavs like to move. <laughs> do you see my problem here? Sport bras literally do nothing. Nor even my fave, by the way, smaller boobs, slightly smaller boobs, is on my side here. I might as well call them my jogging partners since they want to be so involved all the time. By the way, it doesn't matter what sports bra you get, they're always going to be like that. When they're this side, nothing is holding them in place. Ever. Number two, sweat. So not only do these frost detectors love reacting to the cold, but even if you're just sitting there, you can be sitting there minding your own business, not doing nothing, you can be gaming, you can be talking, you can just be on a little stroll, they will sweat. It will get wet down there. Literally every day I have to put deodorant not only under my arms, but also in between them to help this problem. They literally hold heat so well down there that they are basically my own personal hot sons. Number three, finding clothes I'm actually comfortable in. So I'm not an expeditionalist. Ex expeditionalist? Expeditionalist. I'm actually pretty scared of my own boobs. Like, literally the only daylight they really see is when I'm in Vegas because that's when I'm most comfortable with them. And it's hot. It's really, really hot there. That's also a factor. So I find it really hard to find mostly tops that I feel comfortable in. Like my sweater stretches cause like gaps in between buttons and even the most simple tops can look really vulgar when you have big boobs. Not only does it make me feel like I belong in some sort of porn magazine, but it also makes clothes shopping super stressful for me. It's actually super hard to find a top that suits me or a dress or anything really. Number four, so bras when you've got boobs this big just aren't cute anymore. They're mostly just functional because apparently to retailers you can't have a big bust but a small band. I, that just doesn't exist. Like braided, super cute but super ugly when you have big boobs. They do nothing for me. To be honest, it's probably the reason why quite a lot of the time I'm pretty happy to have a no bra day or just wear like a super loose sports bra that's just comfortable instead of functional. Free the nipple. Number five, finally. These big ass twins, oh. these big ass twins have a huge gap otherwise called a cleavage that literally everything likes to get stuck in. You can literally be sitting there, minding your own business, having lots of fun, being really happy, snacking, and then you realise that actually you now have crumbs stuck all the way down there. Which then means you have to put your hands down there to get them out. Congratulations, you're now touching yourself in public. <laughs> Literally the smallest things can be super stressful when you have big boobs. 
Although I could literally keep going with the downsides, I won't because there's only so long this video can be. Mostly with big boobs, I suffer with what I think other people think of me because I have them. It's really super fucked up. You can be called a booby streamer, which is just super unfair. People can take you less seriously just because of how you look. In my case, big boobs. As I've said a lot, like how many times can you say boobs in a video? Boobs, 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 boobs. Obviously, people with a higher IQ than like 10 will know it's not actually like that. You can have big boobs and stream and play a game quite happily. Obviously, they can be super good at other stuff like sexy time, but we won't go into that. And you can also keep like things down there, like your keys, your phone, or even your glasses, and nobody would even know that it was over there because the cleavage so big. Just being honest. I'm not gonna give a fuck. I'm gonna wear things that I'm comfortable wearing and not worry so much about what other people think of me because at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing and it's not for the wrong reasons. It's just to make sure I'm happy and feel healthy the way I am. And I really hope that a lot of other girls out there can do that too. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I always make sure to comment back to everybody's comments. So my next vlog that I want to do is gonna be like a Q, Q and A slash like, ask me anything. AMA, <laughs> so literally ask me anything. I want it to be a really super interesting q and I don't want it to be a boring one. I want to talk more than just about my job or my past job or anything like that. Um, I've got a lot of silly questions and a lot of serious questions. So the next one is going to be super interesting. I'm going to get that one up for next week. I'm only doing weekly vlogs. I think that works better for me. And yeah, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And obviously don't forget to like and subscribe. And I love you. Okay, bye. Mwah. Ah, I'm so nervous to put this.